So, I'm going to test a shampoo security pack. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm guessing. And so, what it does is they give you a installer, which is 1.36 megabytes. And that installs this, which brings you to a downloader. So, I'm going to start by downloading their anti-spyware. And so it tells you how much it's downloading. And it is downloading, um, it's just not showing. And I'm going to start downloading this too. And I guess I'm going to download their firewall just to see what it looks, to see what it does. I'm going to be leaving the Magical Security 2 out because, okay, two downloads maximum. I'm going to be leaving the magical security out because that's just an encryption software and I have no need of an encryption software because I'm just going to be testing prevention so I'm gonna pause the video and let this download so it looks like everything's ready to go everything downloaded and I'll click start install here And so I guess it opens up a window. And since we see how that goes there, and that's how the rest of these are going to install, unless I see anything interesting, I am going to pause the video again. And probably won't start it back up until I have them installed. So, right here, uh, computer's just booting back up. I had to restart after installing all the programs. Um, I'm waiting for the anti-spyware to load. Um, trying to get through here. Continue trial. Um, gonna configure the firewall here. Expert mode, I'm an expert. Um, I'll leave that alone. I don't like updated flash. Especially considering some things I'm going to do are um, one is a flash exploit. So, let me take a look here. Rules. It's basically a raw firewall. And then there is different managers. Um, I'm going to leave this stuff alone because it doesn't really matter to me right now. And on the antivirus, I'm going to continue the trial, too. So I've got all these three things loaded here. I'm going to start by just taking a quick look at the antivirus guard. Um, no, I don't want to do this. Um... Error downloading the updates. Well, that would be because I'm not connected to the internet. So I'm going to check for updates. There we go. Check for updates. It doesn't even know to allow its own cell.
So while it's doing that, uh, well, I can't do anything while it's doing that. And this I'm going to continue the trial on too. Um, it doesn't even know to allow that either, which is pretty ridiculous. I feel like it should automatically allow its own program, but that's just me. Uh, I'm going to check for update on this too. And while I'm updating these, I'm going to pause the video again and save some time. Um, and then I'll just quickly go over the interface. And I have 12 threats to see if it detects later on. Any of these detect. Okay, so everything's updated, and I'm just going to take a quick look at the antivirus and the anti-spyware. I presume there is not much to configure here. So, you can scan, you can schedule a scan, you can uh, quarantine, and then under the preferences, eh, I'm going to leave that alone. And then I want the high heuristics, and then the guard I want to use heuristic scanning, and I'll do that too. And then you can shut down after a scan if you want. So, that seems pretty straightforward. If I look at this, the anti-spyware. I can scan, quarantine, logs, preferences. Whitelist, I can configure. File filter, task planner, proxy, guard, play alarm sounds, other, and then there's an auto start manual, uh, rootkit detector, host file checker, LSP checker, some good stuff here. Um, if I right click on a file. There's no option to scan with, I'm noticing, which annoys me, but I'm going to continue in the next part of the video to test its prevention. Well, all three of the pieces prevention. So I'm going to continue in part two.